Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an Indian food mukbang. I am super excited to have some Indian food for lunch. I haven't had it in like a few months. So, let me tell you guys what I all got. I kind of ordered like a decent amount because whenever I like Uber Eats food, there's just so much that looks good. It's like, okay, let's get a little bit of everything. So I got chicken pakora, chicken tiki masala, which that is my favorite, garlic naan, tomato soup, and vegetable samosas. This is all from Bombay. So we have our sauces. Mm, I think this is the garlic naan. Smells delicious. Look at that. Mm. So I've been wanting to do an Indian food mukbang for a while. And I just know it's it's too hard to eat in the car. So I was always just like, I would just eat it off camera at home. But I'm like, we're gonna bring this mukbang to home. Why not? Mmm, that smells delicious. Chicken pakora. So I kind of did a different camera angle. I have this like board up here. So let's see how this how this works out. Okay, here is the chicken tiki masala. Yum. There was like a pizza they had on the menu, and it was like salmon bites with onions and sauce. Didn't really seem like a pizza in the description, but I was maybe gonna get that, but I'm not really in the mood for fish today. Vegetable samosas. Wow, those are some big ones. And last but not least, we have some rice. So, we didn't get any silverware. Let me grab some. There is a bigger spoon and a smaller spoon. Is there, I like using the smaller one. I always go for the smaller one. This is a big one though. My small ones are all in the dishwasher, but like that's like massive spoon. I'm gonna lay all this just out on the little board. Get rid of all this foil. It's kind of distracting. Mmm. Delicious. I can't believe my first time having Indian food was like last year. That is so crazy. Okay, this this little layout is actually really nice. Check that out. Okay, guys, let's take the thumbnail. I'm gonna come up here. Wow, this looks beautiful. I just love the colors. Mmm. I'm gonna scoot these over just so I can put this up here. Oh, so good. It's my first time ordering from this place. Yummy. Woo! Holy cow. That is on fire. So I'm only like, I'm really close to this place. So the food is still super hot. It took the lady on, I was supposed to get it at 120 and it came at 105. Mm. So good. So I was like, should I make it homemade? Cause remember when I made it all homemade? But that was hard. It was honestly a lot of work to make it homemade. Lots of different steps and spices. I would do it again, but I was just like, you know, a little too hungry. Whew, that's gonna be hot. So I wrote down some facts about me that I was just gonna share with you guys in case you're new to my channel or just wanna hear some facts about me. So, my Zodiac, I'm a Cancer. My birthday's July 14, 2000. And I'm a Sagittarius moon and Aries rising. Hmm. 
So I don't know too much about the like the rising and uh, moon signs. I just know I'm a Cancer, and I feel like that could be pretty accurate. Yeah. So I'm a July Cancer. I know there's like differences between June Cancers and July Cancers, but everyone that I know is a Cancer, I get along with so well. And I get along well with the signs that like I'm supposed to get along with well. So like a Pisces. Pisces is like the number one of who I'm supposed to get along with. I mean, I don't, there's like not a sign that I like would say I don't like though. You know, everyone's different. And I also, I also like I'm not going to just judge someone off their sign. I'm not like that into it. Ooh, yum, this is delicious. The dogs are, <laughs> they keep growling because they want some. Mm. My first pets were two hermit crabs and I got them at the beach in Myrtle Beach. And they actually lived a long, long time. Like, his name was Tornado, and I think he lived like five years. Like a long time. And then after my hermit crabs, hmm, which is such like a random pet. Like, I really don't think I ever really held the hermit crabs and played with them because they had the pinchers. They were scary. Like, stay away. <laughs> and then I got a guinea pig, which I loved my guinea pig so, so much. I'm like, to, I really want to get another guinea pig. But I know they are a lot of work because if I like leave to go somewhere, you know, I could just bring my dogs in the car. But a guinea pig, I'd have to bring the whole entire cage and just like more stuff. So on this, has vegetables like potatoes, peas. Everything is so extremely hot. So, you're not getting any. That's why I like to muck me in my car. It's Hershey. Mochi doesn't really make any noise. Well, she barks, but Hershey just is a talker. That's for sure. So, if you guys have a guinea pig, let me know what you think. Do, should I get a guinea pig? I would always have the fresh veggies for it, and then I feel like I would meal prep and have everything for the week. I don't know. I'm just such an animal lover. But, and like I would totally dedicate a room and make like a massive cage for it, and it would be spoiled. I just don't know if that's like, I have two dogs already, which is a lot of work, so I need to like chill. <laughs> They're just so cute. And then we got Cookie when I was, I believe, 15. Yeah, because it was before I could drive. You get your license at 16 years old here in America and in Ohio. I don't know if other states might be a little bit different. But yeah, you get your temps at 15 and a half and you get your license at 16, which I saw online that people were like, that is so young. I don't know where those people were from, but it was like in the TikTok comments. And I guess 18 is like more common, but yeah, we get it at 16 here, which honestly, yeah, seems extremely young. Mmm. This is so good. My 
favorite artists. So I kind of listen to like literally a little bit of everything. I like pop music. I like house music. I like rap, country. Um, I guess that's kind of like all the types. Oh no, I like rock too. And just like literally a little bit of everything. I like it all. <laughs> Recently though, I've been listening to a lot of country. So Morgan Wallen is kind of at the top of my list right now. I really want to go to his concert. Um, but he's like my favorite right now. I love country when it starts to get warm out and the sun is out just because it's a vibe. And it's just like happy music. Like I really don't listen to rap that much anymore. Like I still do, but like hardcore rap, like little baby future, just everyone like that. Don't get me wrong, I don't not like them, but I definitely have leaned my way to like pop music and like I love me some Ed Sharon. <laughs> I don't really like slow music that much, I guess. If I had to choose one thing, but country I am loving. I'm gonna dip that in there. <laughs> I mean, I have my own cowgirl boots. I need to get my own cowgirl hat though, so when I go to a country concert this summer, I can wear a cowgirl hat. But I like The weekend. I like MGK too. I'd say The weekend is pretty up there for me. Never seen him in concert. I forgot about this. Tomato soup. I've never had tomato soup from an Indian restaurant. Let's see if it's like the exact same. I wanted to use my, the, the same silverware for multiple things. I know some people have to have separate. I like to mix all my stuff together and everything. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, that's good tomato soup. It's very tomato-y. <laughs> this with the garlic naan will be amazing. Mmm-hmm. like even the samosa. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> my dogs are like begging me up my legs. This is why I don't give you human food, Hershey, because you are kind of annoying. <laughs> you are. That's not nice manners. It's lovely weather. I don't know why they won't go play outside. They like are so glued to me. I can't do anything without them following me. Like, go to the bathroom, take a shower. They are always following me. Which I was outside playing ball with them while I was waiting for my food to come, but I come in, they have to come in. And it's like shorts weather out there kind of. When I was younger, I was in speech class. I think I was only in it for a year and I was in kindergarten, but I could not pronounce any letter. I think only like two out of the alphabet I could pronounce correctly. Um, but yeah, which I feel like sometimes I still kind of don't sound that clear, which I try, but I'm like talking really fast. I'm like, I can't even understand what I'm saying sometimes when I edit myself back. But yeah, I had a very bad speech impediment. I wish there was more videos of me when I was like 
younger because I would show you guys like when I was five, but yeah, it was cute though. <laughs> I got my period at 12 years old. <laughs> yeah, pretty young, right? I was in fifth grade. No, it was right when I finished fifth grade. It was it happened in June, so like literally right when I got off school. So before sixth grade. I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, Hershey. But yeah, that was young because some of my friends, it wasn't until like high school. Like junior year of high school. Like you're lucky. And when I did have it, I didn't tell anyone because I was like the only one. So, and we were like not allowed to go to the bathroom either during class. Our teachers made us go in between classes, which we had like two minutes to get from class to class before the bell rang. There was no time to go in between classes. And our teachers wouldn't let us go. So I would literally wear like... I don't want to like talk about this while I'm eating. But like I... Like... I couldn't go to the bathroom. I'll just say that. I wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom. And I also wasn't... I wasn't like brave enough to tell my teacher like what was going on. I would just like not even ask. Because I was like a little, like a little bit shy when I was younger. Now I'm definitely more outgoing, but I would still say I'm a little bit more quiet. Like, if my nails look bad at a nail salon, I, I don't like to speak up. And, like, if my food's wrong, I don't really like to speak up. But I've gotten way better at it. Now I, I kind of will. Like, they made my Starbucks drink wrong from the drive-thru, and I went inside and was like, this is wrong. <laughs> so I've gotten better at it because... It's your money. You need to speak up. Not even just like things like that too. Like anything. No one really cares. I guess it's more like a social anxiety like in your head thing. But like I absolutely hated like when I would fly and I would be in the middle seat or the window and like strangers were next to me and I had to get up and go to the bathroom. I would feel so bad having to ask them. But it's like... I gotta go. <laughs> and like no one cares. If you're on an aisle seat, like you expect that. At least you can get up. Like the people on the insides can't get up. My first YouTube channel was created in 2008. You can maybe find it. It's Stephanie P789. Here's my new cup. I got it for free with my Starbucks points. So cute and pink. Oh, that was another fact I wrote. <laughs> what are things I collect? I like to collect crystals. I don't have like that many, but I do like to get some here and there. And I have them all like in a bowl in my room. And then I collect cups. I have a huge obsession with cups. I'm full now. Woo! I love cups, like huge obsession. And then the last one I was going to say is I have a skin condition called chronic urticaria dermographism. So I get hives every single day. I've had it like my whole entire life. It kind of went away though at one point and then it came back really bad in seventh grade. And that's when I had to see an allergy doctor. Find out. I'm allergic to nothing. So... We don't know. I just have to take allergy medicine every single day, which is so bad. Like you, like they say long term, like you should not take allergy medicine like that often, every single day. But I have to. If not, I am like so itchy, and like I can't even like show my skin because it looks so disgusting and like swollen with hives and red dots everywhere every day if I don't take my medicine. So. 
I have to, which I should probably get into the doctor again just to see like if there's, if they know anything more about it now. Like if there's anything else I could take for it, but probably not because I need like antihistamines and stuff. Well, that was very good. And I'm going to have some leftovers. I, I knew I wasn't going to eat all this. That's a lot of food. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. If you like the ones at home, let me know. Because, I mean, if it's fast food, I will, you know, go through the drive-thru. That's, like, the easiest. But I could totally order more, like, takeout. Like, get it delivered from, like, Applebee's or restaurants like that, you know? So let me know if you guys liked this angle. And give it a thumbs up if you do. But I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.